All right, let's get straight into it. Chapter 1056 of One Piece. There's a lot of things that happen in this chapter, including we have a confirmation that Yamato is going to join the crew. We know that Buggy now has Mihawk and Crocodile under his crew as well, which is kind of crazy. Not only that, they're also putting bounties on the on the Marines, which is a Uno flip card by Buggy basically saying that, oh, you know, you guys wanted to come after us. We're coming after you. This is a ball move, a baller move by Buggy. I actually have a lot of theories on Buggy myself, but that's going to be in another video. I think Buggy is very similar to kind of like a Joker type character, right? Joker basically feeds on the chaos of the people out there. And he also has a lot of powerful allies, which is how in the whole Batman series, he's able to make it through. And I think there's a lot of similarities between that Joker and this buggy, but I can talk about that later. So one of the big things that's talked about the most in this chapter is that Kid and Killer are talking about getting serious about finding the One Piece. And Killer was like, okay, let's get serious about finding the One Piece. And then Kid was like, oh, so you want to go after that guy, the guy marked by flames. And the translation might either go as it's somebody who has a flame like scar or was scarred by flames. The translation's kind of fishy there, but we'll see when the actual release comes out to see what they say. And Luffy didn't know who they were talking about, so he got curious about it. And then Law had pretty much a sunken expression, like, you know, like uh, I don't I don't want to have any comment about this. Maybe kind of like a dark expression almost, like almost as if he didn't like who they were talking about or Maybe he didn't even know who they were talking about, although it didn't seem like it to me. And then Robin had her question mark expression. So, so it's very interesting that the author showed both Law and Robin having a reaction to kids saying this. Because there was other people listening around too. Like clearly Zoro was eavesdropping when he found out that Mihawk was part of Buggy's crew or his guild, as they want to call it now. And it didn't seem like Kid was trying to be sly. Kid was just like, oh, you don't know? That means we're one step ahead of you. So it seems like what's going on is that Kid is getting serious about finding the One Piece. And whoever this man marked by flame is, is going to lead them closer to One Piece. That's how the flow of the conversation went. When Kid said, oh, you don't know, we're one step ahead of you, that even goes more into, okay, this is going to lead you closer to One Piece. This is something that you shouldn't already know. Kid already got one of those stone tablets that's needed to find One Piece from Big Mom before. He apparently bullied one of the sweet commanders into getting it. So he actually knows, okay, what's kind of needed to get to the One Piece. We don't know how he knows, but he knows this information. So it makes sense that maybe he knows even more information on how to find the One Piece than Luffy does. So there's some things that Kid knows, and then there's some things that Luffy knows. Now, the question is, that thing that Kid knows, does Law know it as well? Because then they'll that'll put Law even one step ahead, because he also knows about the, the, the tablet in Zhao that should lead them to One Piece as well. So there's a lot of theories, a lot of theories out there going into who this person marked by scars could be, right? And so I want to go through all the theories that I've come up with and all the theories that I've seen online and people have been talking about and collaborate all of them into one. So let's get started. Theory number one, right? One Piece Film Red is coming out today. A lot of people are getting hyped about that. Definitely check it out. The U.S. release will be coming shortly. There's rumor that it's going to be, I think, like two months from now or, or one month from now or something like that. It's going, it's coming extremely fast, which we're very excited about. We just did a review on One Piece Film Red, the latest trailer. We're going to be reviewing the movie when it comes out. I got a lot of other One Piece videos. If you guys are new here, definitely subscribe. I got a lot of good One Piece theories and a lot of other content coming. So definitely subscribe to stay tuned. And I brought up Shanks because that's the number one theory right now is that people are thinking it's Shanks. Now, the reason why people think it's Shanks is that Kid has already gone after Shanks once. He lost part of his uh, left arm, I believe. And he also tried to go after Shanks again. He tried to form an alliance to go after Shanks. And so when Killer was like, let's get serious, Shanks has been one of their targets for a long time. They're trying to take out Shanks. So man marked by flames, we don't know exactly what it means. Maybe it's because red is kind of like a flame like color or maybe Kid knows something about Shanks that not even Luffy knows or the readers know themselves. So it could be that they're going after Shanks, right? Shanks would definitely lead them closer to One Piece as Shanks is one of the other emperors now that they have to target. The only other emperors could be Buggy, Blackbeard, but they're already, they already want, Kid Kid is a dude about revenge, right? So it makes sense that they're going to want to go after Shanks. That is currently the number one theory. Shanks has a lot of mystery behind him. We don't know if Man Marked by Flames could be related to that, but then, then again, we'll see. 
Theory number two. I don't think this theory is going to be true, but a lot of people, because it's Flame, it, this character makes sense. Flame Emperor Sabo, right? He's got the scar, similar to like a burn mark. Everyone knows about it. A lot of people, most people have seen what Sabo looks like. He's been all over the newspapers. Kid's been clearly reading the newspapers. Luffy probably hasn't, to be honest. He's just been getting the secondhand information from people that have been reading it. Now, Sabo is also now the Flame Emperor, so it could also make sense. Marked by Flames, Flame Emperor. Now, the question is, why Kid would want to go after Sabo? Personally, I don't think there's really any motive. It's just that Sabo is now a huge figure in the new world. He's causing this kind of revolution. So it could be that, okay, taking down such a high profile figure might be beneficial for Kid and Killer somehow. Not really sure what their motive would be, but the one line Kid said about, we don't have any leads so far, that makes it very suspicious that it could be Sabo because no one knows exactly where Sabo is, right? Kid, in terms of in the first theory about Shanks, it seems that they could easily find Shanks, right? Shanks has his own territories. It's not going to be difficult to find Shanks. I'm sure he has a base somewhere that he's probably at. So that one line doesn't make sense for Shanks, but it makes sense for Sabo. So what do you guys think about that one? Let me know. Okay, theory number three, man marked by flames. This, I think, is the worst theory possible. Akainu. Akainu has some scars. He's got the magma fruit. People are just saying, okay, that's somehow related. It's got to be Akainu. That makes absolutely no sense at all. First of all, I'll say this. If Kid goes after Akainu, Kid is dying. Akainu is a killer. He will kill Kid. This this theory, why does killing Akainu even lead them closer to One Piece? What does that make them serious? They're just going to flex on the world government? I think because there's the whole guild that Buggy has started, that's going to also take care of going after the world government. So I don't think we really need to worry about that. I don't think Akainu is going to be... Uh, who that man marked by flames is. Akainu kind of doesn't care about none of this stuff, although we still need his backstory. All right, theory number four. People think that it's Aokiji. Aokiji has been scarred by Akainu. He's a powerful figure. He could be aligned with Blackbeard. That could be someone. Now, this is somebody that the no leads comment actually does retain to. They might not be able to find out exactly where Aokiji is. He seems to just be going here and out, here and there. He doesn't really seem to be part of Blackbeard's crew as one of like the, the sub captains or anything like that. But it's possible that they might think that Aokiji has some information that might be related to them. I don't personally agree with this theory, but that's another person that I guess it could be. Okay, now next theory. Karibo in this chapter was talking about somebody that might be interested in the information about Pluton. He also knows about Poseidon already. Who could that person be? So a lot of people are thinking, okay, maybe that person is Blackbeard because Blackbeard is someone that can actually break down the walls of Wano using his quake fruit and he can also release Pluton. That's another way. It doesn't have to be uh, through Zushina that could break down the walls. But marked by flames, how could Blackbeard be marked by flames? Maybe people are saying that that has to do with somehow he brought in Ace and that led to Ace's death. So that could be some somehow marked by flames. Blackbeard is another theory. It could be the same person that Karibo was talking about, that Kid is talking about as well. We don't know. Karibo seems to be getting a lot of different information. We don't really know too much about his past and what other pirates that he interacted with while he was in the New World. So Blackbeard could have definitely been one of them. Okay, next one. This one definitely could be a possibility. The man marked by flames could be someone that we haven't seen at all. It could just be a completely new character. A lot of people are saying maybe it's somebody on Gold Roger's old ship, right? That would make perfect sense because this would be a character that should know some information about the One Piece. So a completely new character, somebody that's either looking for One Piece that might have some information on One Piece. It seems like Kid has a pretty large intelligence network. He has a lot of information that he's already known about One Piece, about the new world. He might have found out that, okay, somebody has some information that could be given up to get closer to this. Maybe Law has heard the rumor. Maybe Robin, while she was with the revolutionaries, heard the rumor as well. We don't know. So that's definitely somebody that we might not have heard. One thing about Kid's knowledge that was very interesting to me is that how they're going to actually read these read these uh these stone tablets to find the one piece right they need to have somebody that can translate it to actually point them in the right direction so another theory that's coming about is that maybe this person is somebody that can actually read it maybe not read it but somebody that can actually understand it but it doesn't make sense for kid to say that okay this is one step ahead of you guys because 
it doesn't he know that Robin is from O'Hara? It can also read it too. Maybe he doesn't know. We're not sure. But then again, Law doesn't really have somebody that could read it either. So maybe they both need Robin. So they're saying that, okay, you know, we need somebody like that. And maybe Law is thinking in his head saying that, okay, maybe I need to get Robin somehow. So he's trying to like cozy up with her or something like that. Just a bonus theory out there. I don't think that's particularly true, but we'll see. All right. So those are all the theories that I have that I've seen on The Man Marked by Flames, who this could be. I'm sure we'll find out in the coming chapters, or maybe it'll be a big mystery. It's never it's never directly said who that person will be, since after these people go off on their own paths, we might not see Kid for a while. It seems like my theory is that they're going to go to Elbaf next. We haven't seen Arouge. Maybe he's the Mad Monk is also somewhere around there as well, so we'll see how that goes. All right, that's it for those theories. Subscribe to stay tuned on the next videos. Let me know in the comments which theory you guys think is the best. Which, If you guys have any other theories that I haven't seen or come up with, let me know that in the comments as well. All right, and that's it for this video. Chopped Anime.